Hey everyone, I am back with a new video and this is going to be my workspace tour for 2017. I am finally filming one since I didn't get to film one last year. So this is what my workspace looks like. It takes up all of my bedroom and I am able to do that because I sleep on a loft bed up there. Like there's the ladder and I occupy all of the floor space in my bedroom. And just in case you want to know, the loft bed and pretty much most of my furniture, they're all from Ikea. For example, that white drawer, my desks, and this white shelf over here. Except for this black and white drawer unit, that one is from Officeworks. So yeah, let's get started. Starting over here, like I said, I bought my desks from Ikea. I bought the tabletop separate from the legs, and the legs that I chose were the extendable ones so that I could turn them into a standing desk. And yeah, I just find that I work better that way, but just in case my feet would hurt from prolonged periods of standing up, I did have to buy a chair so that when that happens, I can just sit down. And I also have a pink ottoman under my table that I use as a footrest. Moving over here, I have this drawer, which like I said, is from Ikea. And I also have a heater right next to it because it's currently winter here in Melbourne. And I keep my art materials in this drawer. So I have a system that I've put in place in my workspace where I've designated um, storage spaces like this one for certain collections that I have. For example, I collect art materials, um, art journaling supplies, papers, sketchbooks, journals, those kind of things. So having this system in place allows me to keep track of the things that I have so that I don't end up keeping unnecessary art materials that I don't use for a long period of time or remains unopened or just things that I don't really need. So it also stops me from impulse buying because that can easily happen when it comes to collecting art materials like this. So on top of that, I have my tech gear, I guess. So I've got a tripod over there, another mini tripod, this towel that I use to wipe down the surface of my desks. I have another mini tripod and a selfie stick right there. I also have here my drawing tablet, which was gifted to me back in 2010, so it's really old. I don't even think they make these anymore. But surprisingly, I tested it on my Mac and it works. So we'll see if I can use it one day in the future. So next to that, I have my mic, or it's not really mine. It's actually my older brother's, but he doesn't use it anymore. So I borrowed it indefinitely, which is why it's sitting here. And it is by the brand Bear Ringer. It is C1U and I use it for my voiceovers. And then I also have this wooden box that I got from the thrift store and I keep tech accessories here like my hard drive, webcams, um, cords, USB, stuff like that. And I also keep my camera on top here, but I'm currently using my camera so you can't really see that. Inside the first drawer here, this is what it looks like, and I keep my inking supplies here. So anything related to ink goes in here. And what I did was I created these dividers out of cardstock. Like, they're really flimsy, but they do the job in terms of dividing the products into subcategories. For example, over here I've got this plastic palette from Daiso, a die and lino cutting and stamping tools. Here I keep different kinds of acrylic markers or just markers that don't really belong anywhere else. Then here I have colorful fine liners and other pens that also don't really come in sets, so they come in individually. And these ones are my black fine liners and brush pens. Here I have black inks, 
Here I have colored inks, also of different brands. I've got water brushes and these small brushes that I use for inking here, and then ink cartridges and these plastic paint pots that I use when I want to mix these inks over here. And I also have just my glasses here and a syringe. Then the next drawer, I keep pencil supplies. So the way that this system also works is that within this drawer, it's going to be art supplies, but I've also designated um, each drawer to have a specific category. For example, that was inks, this is pencils. So that means that if I buy pencils or more inks, they have to fit into these um, specific drawers. If they don't, then that means that I have way too much stuff and I need to reorganize these things so that I am keeping the ones that I know I can get a lot of use out of or things that make me happy and donating the ones that I know I'm not going to use in the future or things that I just haven't used in a long time. Now, this system doesn't mean that I don't have anything in here that I don't use. I still have a few things that I don't use as much as I want to, but it's a lot smaller than it was before. So I'm really happy with this system and I think that it works. So hopefully kind of like in a slow process, I can start to minimize the art supplies that I have. So here I have my pencils. So colored pencils here. This is the Prismacolor Premier set of 132. And then I have more colored pencils here in different brands and I bought them individually so that's why they kind of don't get to be displayed like this. I also have um, graphite and charcoal pencils here so these are woodless and then these are wooden graphite and charcoal pencils. I have white chalk, uh, pan pastels here and then at the very back same system where it's the least used material so I've got tins of other kinds of pencils that don't really fit in anywhere else here so I keep them there. I also have erasers, sharpeners, pencil leads, and then at the very back are mechanical pencils. Moving on down here, I have paints. So I've got some palettes over here. The palettes are from Daiso. This is also from Daiso. And I keep acrylic paints over there as well as these glass jars that I use for painting. I also have some unopened and unused water brushes here, kind of as um, an extra. I have sponge brushes. Here I keep my acrylic paints. Here I keep my watercolor paints. Here I keep gouache. and. On this side here, I keep my watercolor palettes of different brands as well. I have a glass jar also for painting. And then here, I keep the brushes of different brands and different kinds as well. Then over here, I keep my markers. So they need to be down here because they have to fit in a way that shows the numbers that I put on their caps. And since they also don't fit upright, I had to create this divider that allows them to be stored at an angle like this. So I have my Copic Chow markers here. There's a few sketch markers and one wide marker here. I also have the Windsor Newton Pro markers and brush markers here. Um, a few different brands of other markers and Copic Chow. And then at the very back right here, I keep the Copic Various refill inks and they're at the back because I don't use them that much but in case I want to use them, I can just take these out and then move this to the front and then put it back when I don't need it anymore. And yeah. The last drawer here, I consider this an empty drawer because it doesn't really contain art supplies. So I'm really happy that I have an extra drawer. It means that I don't have way too much art supplies for the standard that 
I previously had. So yeah, it also allows me to purchase more, but at the moment I think I want to keep it within these four drawers. So with this one, I just have some old polymer clay here, um, paper towel that I use for painting, and a few pencil cases there. Moving on up here, I have my iMac, keyboard, mouse, and this plastic mat from Daiso that I use to keep my table surface clean. I also have a moleskin bullet journal here and pencil case and water. Then here I have my poor attempt at decoration because when we moved to this house, we're renting it. So the homeowner, the original homeowner was really strict about us putting stuff on the wall. So they didn't even allow using blue tack, which kind of sucks because I've got so much blank wall space that I want to put art in, but yeah, this is kind of the only way that I can do it, at least for now. Just the one that I figured out. And what I did was I tied a string under my loft bed and put small art there. I tried hanging bigger ones, but it was too heavy. So yeah, for now it just looks like that. And over here, I keep more art supplies, but they fit into another or a different category. For example, this one, this drawer is from Officeworks. And on top of that, I got a fake Ikea plant. I have small journals and notebooks here. And this is where I keep my art journaling supplies. So those are also used for art journaling. In the first drawer, I have office supplies like scissors, glue, nothing really exciting. Here I keep um, dried leaves and this is where I keep neutral papers, I guess. So white, cream colored or brown papers go here. Here I keep um, masking stickers and origami paper. All of these are purchased from Daiso. And then some pegs and clips. Then down here I have colored paper. So also from Daiso, also from Daiso, washi tape, uh, page flags, and more washi tape at the back. The next to that I have scrapbook paper from years ago. I used to scrapbook but I don't anymore. But I've uh, reduced it down to this much because I was kind of hoping that I would use it for art journaling but it's too big and I prefer using the smaller origami paper for decoration so I don't know. Hopefully I can use these ones soon and next to that I have this acrylic drawer that is also from Officeworks and I keep papers here that I use for my artworks. On top, I also have paper. So for example, I have these two accordion folders where here I keep crafting paper. So paper with different textures or colored A4 paper. Here I keep kind of artsy paper. So papers that I buy from art stores that don't really come in huge sets or I buy them individually. So I keep them in these folders. I also have some cardstock here that I bought from the Philippines, um, Canson Montval watercolor paper, and some more watercolor papers here, also of different brands. And I've got my pencil cases right here. And this one is a fake plant that I got from the dollar store, and another fake plant here. Inside these drawers, I keep quill multi board cardstock. Um, Printer paper that I use for sketching, watercolor paper and watercolor paper cut down to size, smaller paper here, so fashionary, cardstock, more watercolor paper. And then down here I keep scrap paper that I use um, to test out colors for watercolors and markers. Oh, and the very back I have this folder with um, some things that don't really fit in anywhere, so I kind of just keep it back there. Moving on to the side, I've got a window that faces the back of the house, and here I have my potted plants. So I like to keep my desk, this is where I 
do the filming and pretty much do most of my desk work unless I use the computer then I do it on that side but on this side I like to keep it clean since it's not a big desk it's it's an okay or standard size but I do like to use all of it so I like to keep it free from things except for my plants over here which serve as a bit of decoration they're next to the window they're indoor plants because it's indoors and I'm also not very good at taking care of plants that need a lot of watering. So here I have a lucky bamboo jade plant and this is my favorite with which is the Zanzibar. It's got these really pretty leaves and they look so good and yeah moving on down here. So on this side at the bottom I've got two plastic containers. One is for fabrics and one is for bedding. So pillow covers, that kind of stuff. And then I have a blue case right here, which contains sewing supplies. And like I said, I have an ottoman over there, which my friend gave me as a Christmas present. It is made from the Philippines in Samar. So yeah, I love it. It's really great. And then over here, this one is actually um, a DIY shelf kind of thing. So I have a lot of A3 folders and I'll show you up close, but I keep big paper right here. So like I said, this one is a DIY. I made this out of foam core board. And the reason why I made this is so that it contains my A3 folders nice and neatly, but also so that I can put this frame, which I got from the thrift store. Um, if some of you have watched my complete process video, you'd know that this is the frame that I use as my alternative light box. With the A3 folders, um, this one was from university. This binder contains my finished artworks that are bigger than A4. I have two accordion folders over here, which contains one. This contains crafting paper, so paper that I used back in uni to create um, architecture models. This one contains artsy paper, so big papers that I can use for watercolors um, and for drawings. I have three empty folio folders here, which I used back in high school, but I emptied them out. And then I've got just cutting mats on the side. Then next to that, I have large canvases here and this purple folder, which contains even larger drawing papers. This one contains colored sheets that I use for backgrounds on my YouTube videos. And then the very back is MDF that I use for watercolors. When I want to stretch paper that is around A3 in size, I use this one. Moving on to my shelf over here. So like I said, the shelf is from Ikea and so are those cube things and the drawers. I had to purchase them separately. They don't come with the shelf, but they were also from Ikea. And with this shelf, the bottom ones are pretty much just storage spaces for things that need to be stored in my room. They're not really art related. These ones here are my crafting supplies and this and that are the only kind of art related uh, items. So on top of my shelf, I have framed artworks. Most of them are mine, except for the one on top, which is by Anna Pan. And the frames are from the thrift store. And here I have my small collection of novels. Most of these are actually from the thrift store. I had to kind of search for the books that I really liked and surprisingly, most of them I found at the thrift store, so yeah. I also have some decors or decorations here randomly, like for example, that one is a souvenir from my Philippines trip and then that is a statue also from the thrift store that I'm planning to paint into Alexander Hamilton from the musical. Then down here, I keep the same system that I do with my art supplies, art journaling supplies, and my papers. So for example, this is designated for my art books. This one is for journaling. This one is 
for sketchbooks and this one is for finished artworks but this one is most likely going to expand since I want to be making more art so yeah starting here these are my art books most of them are also from the thrift store and then here I have my journals and I used to have so much more because I buy a lot of notebooks and I'm really happy that it managed to fit into this shelf now. There's still a lot here, a lot of unused ones, but it also contains used ones like a few of them kind of scattered around since I organize it by color. I also have some decorations here like this phone booth, van, and this pineapple. I also have my sketchbooks here, also some unused and some are used, and with this one there's a space at the back and what I'm planning to do is with the used sketchbooks I am planning to put them at the back so that I can have more space here for me to buy new sketchbooks but at the moment I kind of like to have my used sketchbooks here for reference since I do like to look through them sometimes when I'm out of ideas they serve as a list of ideas that I have or a log of ideas that I've had and could potentially visit in the future so yeah it's the same with my journal sometimes I flick through them when I feel like it so that's why they're there but what I have are the boxes from Sketchbox that I'm planning to reuse or recycle to make into the storage that will go behind my sketchbooks and it will store the used and finished journals that I have. In these drawers, I don't really know what's going to stay in these ones because I feel like the ones here are just temporary. I want to find or to figure out a better solution to store them, but for now they kind of just go in here. But yeah, these ones are the sketchbooks that I've made, like for example this one. Some more ones over here, photo paper, so this one, yeah, these are really random, and some sketchbook paper, so these are from old sketchbooks that kind of fell apart and I took them apart so that I could use the paper to create the sketchbooks that you see here. Right here I keep um, craft supplies, so this one is more architecture related because I used these to create the models um, that I presented in university. So things like sticks, wires, glue, spray paints, those kind of things. Here more crafting supplies but this one is more tailored to sewing so things like felt, um, findings, lace and ribbons and elastics and this one the pink one has buttons and this one it's not really crafting but this is i guess art related since i have canvas here and also these wooden boards and then here i have boxes inside this box it's uh, I don't really know, it's for storage. This one's also empty, this one's also empty, and then this one is also the storage thing. So some boxes here, like a lid, empty storage containers that I can potentially use or that I've used before and then I don't use them now, but I can also use them in the future, so yeah. Here I've got notebooks from university, they're really heavy more notebooks i'm not even gonna try and show that and then these ones actually are my university books <laughs> they're down there because i don't really want to display them over here by the way i have some tote bags from society six this one is with my artwork and then this one is with agnes cecile um and her artwork called miss violence then over here i have i don't really know what this one is but i think it's more to do with like shipping packages and stuff, um, mainly for Patreon. So on top, I have this, which I made using uh, 
cardboard or carton. And then I have rolls of paper here. So these ones are contact paper. This is Sorol transfer paper. And then these ones are kind of like wrapping papers. I have a small ukulele over there. And I also have a ukulele over there and a guitar. And here, um, this is a small easel, which I use to display my generation project. I also have business cards and this lizard or gecko figurine. In the first drawer, I have A4 cardboard envelopes. These ones are A5 cardboard envelopes and more envelopes, smaller envelopes. And then padded envelopes. And these ones are plastic sheets that I use for my binders over here. I have a weighing scale, some stamps, tape, scissors, ruler. This one has memo sheets. Um, some more cardboards, chipboards. This one has a folder. I store um, prints um, or misprints are in here. And random envelopes and bubble mailers. So yeah, that is my workspace tour for 2017. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. You can also check out my links in the description box and don't forget to share this video as well. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.